Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Ollie. And you're watching PAL TV. Let's get this show on the road. Tonight, we're at the Aggression Sessions, the UK's largest student-run boxing event. 1,000 spectators are expected at Rainton Arena, despite the Ember weather warning. This year, the event is raising money for Papyrus and Sport in Action. In 2020, the event yeah. raised over £40,000 for charity, and this year is expected to raise even more. Join us as we go behind the scenes. aggression session boxers on their last training session as they prepare for their big day on Friday. Hi, my name is James. I'm the president for Aggression Session Spa 8. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm the boxing coach for Aggression Session Spa 8. All of our fighters are um, ABA registered, which uh, which means they're, um, they're fully licensed under um, England Boxing. And to do that, you have to um, have a, a medical which is done by a doctor. Once the, uh, you have to sort of Speak to the doctor, the doctor checks over those things, like blood pressure, heart rate, your, your knuckles, your, uh, your skull, they, they, they check everything. So everyone's been fully checked out to, to ensure that they're, they're safe to fight. It's a licensed event, so instead of being a white collar event like some other events in Durham, um, this one's actually properly um, refereed and people with much more experience like um, who are able to regulate the fights so and make, making sure that no one's injured or and we've also got like the ambulance on hand they know about the event that is happening so if anything does go wrong like we've got um, we've got measures in place to make people safe uh, so the charities um, we were meant to put fundraise for papyrus last year obviously the event didn't go ahead so we thought it would be sort of best to do Papyrus again just so that we can sort of fulfill our promise of last year um, and we feel like we're, we're going to reach that uh, reach that goal. Um, the other charity is Sport in Action which is a Team Durham charity which is a Zambian based charity um, run by Team Durham um, so we really wanted to sort of get involved not just um, charities uh, in England we wanted to sort of like have a global reach as well. My name is Amelia Crick, I'm fighting in aggression sessions at 62 kilos and 172 centimetres and I'm a complete amateur. Hi, my name's Tom, I'm fighting in aggression sessions this year. Um, I've never boxed before, although I have done karate for 10 years and then my black belt. Um, I'm fighting at 83 kilos. My name's Ollie, I'm fighting at 90 kilos uh, and I'd never fought before about this time last year. Why have you decided to join the aggression sessions this year? Um, well, I've been wanting to kind of fight kind of in a, a competitive way for quite a long time. And I mean, it seemed like quite a good opportunity to do it for charity. And yeah, this year is my last year here, so it sounded like a good, good idea. Well, I did some of the training last year, but um, obviously the event got cancelled. And I was keen to do it last year. Um, I used to row a lot before I came to uni. Um, and I kind of enjoy the discipline of training towards something. And, like training every day um, and aggression sessions kind of provides that. Uh, it's also kind of nice doing something as an amateur and like learning a new skill quite quickly because I don't really have that when I was like kind of at the top of my game with rowing so yeah it's nice being a beginner. Well I decided to sign up last year uh, for the event and then did some of the training at the beginning of last year uh, because my brother did the event four years ago now, five years ago. Uh, and it looked incredible. I didn't manage to go, but it looked amazing, and he recommended it. And then I started doing the training last year, uh, and then the event was unfortunately cancelled. Um, so then I gave it another crack this year. And do you have any experience with boxing? Um, not with boxing. Um, I used to do karate when I was younger for quite a long time. I'm a black belt. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd try something new in boxing and see if I could have some fun. Yeah, I'm feeling good about the fight. Uh, the experience has been really good, the training has been amazing. I thought I was kind of going to go in the ring and have a bit of a scrap, but hopefully I'll actually have a good fight. So yeah, I'm feeling ready, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> My name's Paul 
Um, I've been boxing for over 35 years now with boxing and coaching. We've been working on the aggression sessions now for the past seven, eight years. It's always gone to plan. Uh, like this time, it's been a pleasure to train all the students. They've really put a lot of good hard work in. Four months of grind is now coming together. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing them fight on a the night. They've listened, they're disciplined, the confidence is up. We've dealt with any anxieties that people might have uh, before the fight. We've watched the diets, we've watched the weights on a week to week. Hopefully it's going to be cracking experience on the night. They come up here three times a week on a morning between 8 and 9 o'clock. Um, the girls have joined in, the guys have joined in. There's been a really good camaraderie. It's for a really good cause, raising a lot of money for charity. So hey ho, on the night, I hope it goes fantastic. Um, yeah, good. Nervous but excited. I think feeling ready. Um, I just went and did some pads to warm up in the audience to kind of get used to the sound. Um, I'm feeling pretty nervous. It's really, really hot out there, which is making me stressed a bit. But um, I think I've got it. Like I, I'm feeling confident. So yeah, that's all I can ask for. Just go out there and be as confident as I can, box as well as I can. Yeah, feeling good, ready, excited. And what are you most looking forward to once you finish the fight? Um, having a fight, I think. Having a nice pint, it tastes good. Right. Having a drink. <laughs> all my friends have been praying together all day, and I'm just like, I'm the left, I'm the one that's left out, and I'm the reason you're all coming. So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to just like relaxing, and yeah, it's going to be nice to just like every day for the past months, so I've had to think like, when am I going to train today? When am I going to train today? So it'd be nice to just like breathe for a while and just have a few days off. <laughs> Yeah, we've been really enjoying it all so far. Like, it's been a great time. So, George, I, I, I was on the walk on it. It was so good. I was wearing nappies, and it was. We looked so fit. It was so unreal. One it's moment, enough. you think you've got used to the drum lights out, but then, bam, it hits you. There's more. There's always more. It's been really fun. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect with fight night because I'd never been before. Yeah. As a third year with COVID, but it's been a really good time. How do you feel after the fight? I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I think it's one of the scariest things I've ever done. I think the anticipation as well. We got here at 3 p.m. today and then it's now whatever time it is. It was like six hour wait. You're just waiting here. You're just going through scenarios in your head like, what if he does this? Then I'll do that. And it's just, it's so tiring. But I'm so happy to have it over and done with. Uh, now we go and party and relax. I wouldn't change a thing, to be honest. I think going through the four months, you know, I, I think the fight as well, if, if people saw it, it was it was so good, it was so close, I think, in my opinion. Uh, one knockdown after the other, it was just, it was really, really enjoyable. Uh, and I'm so happy to have come through the other end. I thought it was an amazing event. I think the boxing, which was, the boxing was our main focus, and we really wanted to have good bouts and good show for everyone, so I felt like we achieved that. The officials were running late, they ran over by an hour when they arrived, so we sort of had to cram as much uh, much content and yeah. as many fights as we could in, um, in a short space of time. We managed to get everyone in, we, we ran over a little bit, but we managed to recoup a lot of time, so I felt like we... We, we sort of, it was a bit of damn lamentation and we did all right. I think the quality of fighting was really, really good throughout. Um, obviously there were some fights that stood out, but I think everyone put their all in and really went aggressive in the ring, which I was really proud of. I think the opening fight stood out to me because it was just like the culmination of everyone's work in the back, in the backstage that kind of, that's the way that it started the night and then we went on really well from there. And I was really proud of both the girls who, who went out and started the whole show, which is a massive thing to do. And especially as a girl in boxing as well, it's a massive thing to even like be on be on the stage, which I thought was really, really impressive. No, 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 no.
My name is Laura and you've been watching PAL TV.